This is Will from Billy the Brick Cosplay. I recently teamed up with Best Value Vax to get my hands on this vacuum chamber. So in this video I'm going to do a little unboxing uh, as well as set it all up and make a mold for my Voltron coins that I was doing some cold casting experimentation during the last video. So as you can see there is the nice big three gallon aluminum pot chamber, a glass lid, uh, the really nice thing about this is the gauge and everything is all set up ready to go so you don't have to worry about doing any of that. All you have to do is take everything out of the box, uh, hook up the hose to one end. Uh, the, you have to remove the little black rubber deal from the top of the gauge to acclimate it to your specific region, plug it back in, put the filter on the other end, and the chamber is all ready to go. Then I broke out the vacuum pump. Um, the one that they sent me is a uh, 6 CFM 50 micron pump. Uh, the setup on this is really easy too. You basically just have to fill it with oil. Make sure you put oil in your vacuum pump and make sure you keep a close eye on the level of oil in your pump. Otherwise, you're going to burn it out really quickly. So just be careful. And also, you probably want to use a funnel when you put the oil in. Otherwise, you're going to have a big mess like I did. So put the cap back on, and then wipe up all the oil that I spilled everywhere. Thankfully, I did it on the plastic bag. So once you've gotten your mess all cleaned up, like I did, um, I went and uh, I'm not averse to reading the manual, so I flipped through the manual real quick just to make sure I wasn't going to break anything or do anything incorrectly and, and ruin my pump since it's pretty pricey. Um, then the only thing else you have to do is plug it in and uh, attach your hose. So with everything all plugged in and working, that's why the camera's vibrating a little bit because the pump does vibrate whatever surface it's on. Next time I, I do anything with it, I'm going to have to put the camera on a different surface from the pump. Then you just screw your hose on to whichever uh, outlet is the right size for your hose. The first thing you want to do when you first turn on the pump is hold down the lid a little bit just to make that seal, but then it pretty much takes off right away. And then once it does take off, you want to run the pump until you get to the right pressure, then close all your valves, and then turn off the pump. You don't want to keep the pump running the whole time. There's no need for it, and it just burns through your oil and burns your pump up. So as you can see, um, I'm all right to pressure. Release there and open it back up, uh, and it goes pretty quickly. gets you up to, to pressure really, really fast. Since this is a test run, I'm not going to go all the way up to full pressure, but once you do hit full pressure, you just close the valve and turn off the pump. Then you let it sit for as long as you want to get air out. And now for the fun part, making the actual mold. So for this, I am using Moldstar 16 Fast, which is probably not the most ideal thing to use if you're going to uh, use a vacuum chamber just because it cures so quickly. But it's all I had, so I poured the two parts, just like most everything. Not everything, but most everything. It's one part A to B. So I poured those out into two cups and then um, threw those in the pot before mixing it. It'll get out most of the air uh, and then I'll still have to, of course, mix it together post, uh, post vacuuming it, which means they'll get more air back into it. Um, but it will get a lot of the air out. As you can see, uh, it goes pretty quickly and it's kind of cool to watch. So this is sped up, of course, but um, it's pretty cool watching all the air come out. And it's kind of amazing how much air is actually in there that you don't really realize. So with those back out of the pressure chamber, uh, I went and got some gloves on, got a bigger mixing cup and poured the B. Make sure to scrape the sides, get as much of it out as I could. Um, and then same thing with the A side with a separate mixing stick, of course. Pour that in, scrape the sides, get all everything out, and mix it all up real good. Again, scraping the sides. I tried to be careful stirring to not get a lot more air introduced back in. Knowing that I only had a quick pot life, that's my wife, uh, I put the mixed silicone back in the chamber and I timed it so that I would have about a minute and a half of pot life left and I was pushing it but as you can see it still got a ton of air out after that so I'm patiently watching the clock tick away making sure my master and my mold box is all ready 
and release the pressure and start pouring. Even with the air all sucked out, I still did the high slow pour technique. Um, got it, my stream started and then just went over each coin a little bit just to try to make sure I got in all of the details. I probably, if I did this again, um, I would definitely use a slower curing like Moldstar 15 slow so I could get more air out and then I would probably do a brush coat uh, on the coins just to get all that detail, make sure I didn't get any air bubbles. But I figured since this was sort of my vacuum chamber test, if I had some air bubbles, I'd just do it again. It's not like it was a ton of silicone. Uh, but that being said, always scrape the sides because this stuff isn't cheap and you don't want to waste any that you don't have to. So I scraped all that out and there is all of the silicone poured. So while the mold was curing, I kind of cleaned up a little bit as you can see. As I mentioned in my previous video, I am a compulsive cleaner, so I like to clean everything up uh, as I go as much as possible. Uh, you can actually see in the background there too, while I was waiting, I was doing some castings of my uh, Star Wars Rebel uh, jewelry over there. So what I'm doing here, of course, is just cutting the mold box. I'm trying to just cut away the hot glue without messing up the actual foam core board. Foam core board is cheap and yeah, I could remake it if I needed to, but I was, since I was a little bit worried about having to redo this, I wanted to try to save the pieces so I could remake the exact same mold box if I needed to. Cut that away and just loosen up the rubber and peel it off and voila, there is the finished mold. This is probably the best mold that I've made thanks to the vacuum chamber, and there are the finished coins which are available in my store. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. You can check out my shop or my Patreon, and all the supplies I use are listed down.